Good morning. So, uh, most guys are going to be like, oh shit, Joe's got a whiteboard again. There's been a meme or a quote somebody wrote that has good intentions, um, but irritated me. And so I'm going to talk about this for a sec. And this is, uh, the, basically the thing said you can be a very high performing shooter without being a good dude. And they're talking about, um, people being critical in the industry and, uh, and their methodology behind it. And, uh, and, and I know where they're going with it. Um, I just don't necessarily agree. And what happens is, is somebody posts it, somebody shares it, and then everybody shares it because if you don't share it, then you're not a good dude evidently. And, uh, and so, uh, I'm going to post my own version of it because this is something that I think if you've served in any way, um, whether that's law enforcement or military, this concept shouldn't be new to you, but, uh, I'm going to put it to video. And so, yes, I have a whiteboard and there's a bunch of circles on it. And so here is the concept that you understand if you served, which is, okay, so we've got three circles here and this is in any kind of type of type or role, whether you're law enforcement, military, whatever, you can be a good dude who performs at a very high level and is tactically proficient. And the thing is, is that some guys obviously are good dudes who perform at a very high level but don't have a high level of tactical proficiency. They're in this block. And there's good guys who are good dudes who are very tactically proficient, but don't shoot the greatest. They don't run, you know, that five minute, four mile. They don't run that, you know, whatever. And so they're not, they're not the best shooters or runners or lifters or, but they're tactically proficient and they're good dudes. They fit in this one. And then you have all the outliers. So you guys, you have guys who are tactically proficient and do the job well, but aren't high performers or a good dude. Like you're not going to leave your wife around this guy. Like you're not going to have him watch your kids. Like you wouldn't leave your wallet where he has accessible accessibility to it. And yes, the proportions are not correct. They probably overlie a little more than this. With that being said, um, you can have a guys who are like CrossFit athletes, uh, hundred mile marathon runners, um, whatever who are not tactically proficient and aren't very good dudes, but they sure as fuck perform at a high level and shit that doesn't really matter all that much. Um, and then you have the guy who's like, dude, he's a nice guy. He'll help you fix your fence. You can have drinks with him on a Saturday, um, but you don't want him in the stack and he's kind of fucking fat. Easy, right? He's pretty easy to understand. This is what exists in our world. And so whether you wear a badge, a beret, a scroll, a tab, a trident, whatever this exists and everybody wants to think they fucking live right here and during during your career you where you exist might shift depending on if like hey i let my fucking fitness go because i was in an admin role you know i might might exist over here or like you know hey you fucking bang some dude's wife like dude you're probably not in the good dude category um fucking happens. Um, so now let's move on to, uh, in our industry. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove tactical proficiency. We're just going to group that in with performance, tactical proficiency. And I'll argue that those two things are separate. Um, but for the sake of this analogy, I'm going to put that there. And so we're going to add good dude, tactical performance and teaching ability. Now I've got teaching ability. This exists in our industry. You can be a super good dude. You can be a high performing shooter, whether that is tactically performance based or otherwise. And you can be a good instructor. You can be a good dude and a good instructor and not know and not be able to perform or be tactically savvy at all. You can be tactically savvy and perform at a high level and be able to teach it really fucking well and not be a good dude. This exists in our industry and all of you guys have to sort through where your favorite fucking hero fits on this. Whether he is a performance shooter, a tactical shooter, an internet shooter, whatever. Where does he fit? 
Now, the added thing is that we have to add to this that doesn't exist with a badge, beret, scroll, tr trident, whatever, is marketing ability. And marketing ability is really this like vague floating thing, right? Because you can be a shitty person, not be able to teach, perform at a halfway decent level, but market the shit out of yourself and be really popular. And there's people who are really good dudes, teach really well, perform at a super high level and exist right here who can't market for shit and you don't know who they are. So take that into consideration. That I understand what they're trying to get across with that quote, but the quote's stupid. And some of the people I saw share it might be able to teach really well. And guess what? Your fucking wife might love you and you know your friends might take your call and you might go help somebody fix a fence. But do, you know you might not be super tactically savvy and or be able to perform very well. And so um, what what exists is, is that, yeah, you can teach. Yeah, you might be a nice guy, but what you teach fucking sucks. So um, hurt feelings, I don't care. Um, and I think we all in our own world, you know, want to think, it, you know, if you're a fucking egomaniac, you swear it up and down, you fucking exist right here. And some of those guys make coffee and fucking have big, you know, companies and um, huge followings. And they're fucking douchebags. Or they culturally appropriate other people's cultures and whatever. Um, yeah, you guys can fucking suck it. Um, it. But this exists. And we need to acknowledge it. And... Um, critical feedback in the industry, I don't think is a bad thing. How you go about it, that's to be determined. And if you don't fucking like it, don't follow those dudes. Um, and if you guys just want like the, the sickeningly sweet, um, nice guy that, you know, and just to believe everything he says, even though like he might have a halfway decent bio. I, w I was on a SWAT team, you know, SEAL, Ranger, whatever. But like if he doesn't associate or the guys he associates with are all the same style dude and all the really serious shooters like don't associate with him at all. That might be a hint. Like, and so not only view those people, but who they surround themselves with. Um, you know, if some dude's a, a vet, but he surrounds himself with bro vets and fucking guys who have whiskey companies and shit. Like, dude, how serious of a shooter, instructor, tactician is that guy? So... Uh, that'll probably hurt some feelings and I'm not saying where I fit. So that's up to you guys to determine. Um, I know where, you know, we all aspire to be, um, the best versions of ourselves. I think, uh, or at least we think we are, uh, people vary in their perceptions or understandings of what they view a good person is. So, um, that being said that the, there's a, there's a marketed aspect to this and it, it's confusing, but I think that quote was stupid. Um, the good intent, uh, it was said well enough and I read it, um, but it leaves out the big critical portion of this, which is um, we need to hold ourselves up to a higher standard and, and accountable for the messages we put out and the information and where it comes from and its validity. And that can only be done by peers. Like you can't sit in a vacuum and let your students, students judge your information because your students aren't, don't know. So if you get pissed off every time a peer critiques your information, then you might want to look in the mirror, man. Um, just saying. And, and yeah, you know, some people's flavor or, or way of criticizing or, or offering critical feedback might be different than yours. Um, but I think there's a lot of people who are really scared to talk to their information. Um, and that's sad because that, that doesn't exist in the military and it doesn't exist I mean, at some level. Yeah. But like you're held accountable by your peers for the shit you're putting out. So anyways, some random thoughts today. Um, take that for what it is. Fucking unfollow if you want. I don't care. Um, I'm Joe with Bridger Industries and uh, I'll catch you next time.